Who remembers this? Um, so another set I've actually got five of, and I talked about in my um, five sets to watch video, is the uh, Ford Mustang GT 75871. Uh, this is a set that I am uh, very, very confident on. I really do think this is going to do well. Um, especially at that two, mo two year mark, certainly a set like this, if you want to invest in it, you could probably sell it and make some profit after a year, going off past results of other similar sets. Um, but I think the two year mark is really, really going to be where the money is as well with this set. Uh, demand for the Speed Champion stuff is really, really high. Uh, people seem to love the set. So, yeah, I um, I got five of those, so I'll just get all those up. Oh, God, this is not good. Right then, guys. So, basically, about sort of, I don't know, nine, eight, nine months ago, maybe ten months ago, I started doing videos on this channel for a short period of time of sharing my LEGO investing pickups. And around that time, I really started increasing my buying for LEGO investing. I had been doing it a couple of months prior, but generally around the time of me doing the videos, I was really, really starting to increase my buying and increase the, the amount of money and the amount of items I've actually got in my LEGO portfolio. And we're now coming up to a year on we're just shy of a year on a year on we're about sort of nine months on now obviously i mentioned in the lego investing videos you can obviously go back on my channel i've got a playlist in the playlist section of all my lego investing um i obviously said in those videos that really i'm going to be investing in these for one to two years so really we're not even at that halfway point of where these sets are, are going to be in terms of value uh, and of what I want to see and what, when I want to actually sell them. So I wanted to actually review my portfolio. Uh, not I'm not going to go through all the Lego sets I own, but I'm going to go through quite a few. And I pulled up the pages on Amazon because that's where I'm intending to sell them when I do indeed sell them. And we're going to look at a few of the, the ones that have completely flopped for me. And we're going to look at a few of the ones that have done well or uh, about. Or, or are just maturing basically so without further ado we're going to get on with this i'm going to tell you the prices i paid i'm going to be quite honest with you if i think that you know i've made a mistake on one of them then i'll say that uh, if i think i've made a really really good decision on one of them then i'll say that but i'll say i've just picked loads of different ones from my portfolio from various different themes and we will go through them now so as you can see first off we've got this lego beetle set uh, and i did express the fact that I thought this would do well. Um, as you can see here, it's up to £77. This retailed at £55. And I believe it's been retired for just short of a year now. So I'm quite happy with that. Maybe eight or nine months. So the price is increasing quite nicely. I actually paid for this set, where is it? 21306. I paid between £35.50 and £44.43 uh, for various different pickups. So I got one off eBay that was for a lower price and I believe I got the rest for, from Lego shop at home and I think I got a couple from actually I think I got a couple from John Lewis as well so it's in that sort of price range so as you can see I've kind of doubled my money already in less than a year and obviously come Christmas time if I do want to sell these I can see this set touching around the sort of 90 to 100 pound mark as I say, especially at Christmas, in the height of that Christmas buying, we're already up to £77. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Um, and I might actually decide to sell a couple of the sets I own. I think I've got about five or six of these. I might decide to sell a couple of these at Christmas if it, you know, if I feel like it will go to that sort of £90 mark. And then obviously get some money out of them, get a little bit of profit, and then reinvest that into other Lego sets or into other investments. So quite happy with that one. So next is something that I picked up. I wasn't too sure about this one at the time, if I remember rightly, but I thought I will pick this up. And as you can see here, it's uh, now at £70. And I actually picked this up. Where, what's this one now? 76081. I picked this up for £34.99. Again, less than a year ago. Um, I believe it was sort of... Um, 
think it was like November, December time. Um, and at that point, I believe this was still in stock. So you can tell, you know, in eight months or so, it's done pretty well. I'm happy with that one. From 34.99 investment, it's doing okay for me at the moment. As I say, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be holding on to this one for a little bit longer. I don't think a set like this is gonna go too much higher than that sort of level, though. It might go a little bit higher, but probably not too much higher. Um, so next is the best thing, the best result I have had. I am so happy that this one played out in the way I thought it would. You can actually see on my channel, on one of my videos, I actually say that I am very confident on this set. And that uh, basically this set is um, going to, I just feel like it's going to do really well. I actually picked up 15 of these at £13 a pop. So I probably put about £160 into these sets thinking, yes, these are going to do well. Now, obviously, you can see Merchant Fulfilled are coming in at 40 quid plus postage. That means, as an FBA seller, I could quite comfortably achieve 50 quid. The rank is a little bit high at the moment. It's not It's not mega high at all. It's well below 100,000 in toys. I think it's about 40,000 or something. Let me just see if this will load. Uh, obviously, my computer's going slower because I've got a billion tabs open. Um, but hopefully this will load and we can see the rank if we go down here. Uh, let me just go down. Um, where are we? Right here. Yeah, so it's gone up a little bit since I last checked a few days ago. But it's 51,000 in toys and games. So it's not terrible, terrible. Considering we're in the height of summer, I'm not too worried about that. At Christmas time, that'll uh, come down a little bit. So I'm really, really happy with that. 50 quid each. Now, if I've got 15 of them, I've got £750 out of my £160 investment within eight or nine months. Not even, not even within a year. Well, yeah, sorry, within a year, not even at that sort of two-year mark. That's what I'm trying to say. So, really, really happy with that. I did tell everyone, I said on video, I really do think these speed champion sets are going to do well. Get in on them if you feel like you would like to. Uh, obviously, I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that, but I did say it. I want it going on the record. I did say it, and people... The people that listened, obviously you've done well. People who haven't listened, then they've obviously not done anything. But um, yeah, I think on, I've not checked on eBay, but I would imagine that these are going for around the £30 mark on eBay. I would have to double check that though. Um, but I can see these, if they're this price on Amazon, probably going to be a comfortable 25 to 30 on on eBay. So even after eight months on eBay, that is an incredible little uh, mark up there. So yeah. Quite happy with that. Another one that did quite well. We are going to actually get on to some ones that didn't do well. I'm not going to fill this update with loads of different ones that did well for me because investing is very, very risky. There's things, there's mistakes that can be made and stuff. So yeah, but this one was 75165. Again, I said, I did a specific video for this one saying that I believe this one is going to do well because of these parameters that I mentioned. And uh, it's done all right, you know. It's not done phenomenal, but it's done pretty good in, in eight or nine months. Um, and yeah, well, actually, I think, I think I picked this up in January of this year. So this might only been six or seven months but anyway 28 pound um on amazon as you can see there i believe that is fba um and yeah i picked the i did actually pick these up for retail so i've not done amazingly well as of yet i picked these up for 12 quid um but even you know if we go up to 30 quid or something at Christmas, 35 quid, something like that, which I can see this set doing. I can see at Christmas it might creep up to 35. I don't think it's going to go over that though because battle packs, they don't always go, you know, unless they're really, really old ones and very, very popular ones at the same time, they don't really go above that sort of 35 pound mark. But yeah, so I'm going to might clear some of these at Christmas for 35 quid um, if they go to that. So yeah, I'm happy with them. I got about... 10 or 12 of these sets if I remember rightly so again I stacked up on quite a few of those uh, next this is something again that did pretty well for me uh, Lego 41308 Stephanie's friendship cakes I showed this on a haul video 
picked this up in a Lego sale. I picked up five or six of these for £6.29. And as you can see, again, after only a few months, it's gone up to £19.37. I was reluctant to buy these because I don't like uh, investing in what's known as Lego Eternal themes, which are Lego Friends and Lego City, which they're mainly the two Lego Eternal themes. Um, because generally for an investment, they're very hit or miss. Um, but yeah, £19.37. I might clear a few of these this Christmas. I might even clear a few of these now uh, just to get some money out of them. But as I say, really, I'd like that to go up a little bit higher. You know, £24.99 would be about my uh, price for them. Uh, and hopefully at Christmas I'll clear some more of those. Um, and that'll be quite nice. Nice little bit of profit there. Um, so this was a Christmas set that I picked up. And I really wasn't sure on this one. I just picked it up. Paid £8.49 for these. I think I got 5 to 10 of them. And uh, yeah, I, I, well I actually picked up some in the sale at £6.29 I believe they were, and I picked some up at £8.49, so if you can dollar cost average it, it'd be something like £7.50 I paid, something like that, but um, yeah, I'm still happy with these because even though it's not the biggest gain, it isn't actually Christmas time, and again, it's only been about eight months, so uh, yeah, come Christmas time, these hopefully will be over that £20 mark, and I might decide to clear a few of them and then hold on to a few more until I get to that two-year mark, which would be next Christmas, I think, Christmas in 2019. So, yeah, really, really happy with them. Again, not so bad. Now we come on to a mistake, or what I think might, be, might play out as a mistake further down the line. This is a Lego... Disney Frozen Anna's Snow Adventure. I picked this up for £17.49. As you can see, £23.99. It's not really moved. I think that's it staying at its retail price. So, again, on this one, I hold my hands up. This was not necessarily the best investment although saying that i think we do have another disney frozen movie coming out in the next year or so so obviously if i wait long enough price might go up a little bit of popular popularity might come back to this set and i might be able to clear it at a decent profit but you know a decent return on investment but i think that that is probably just going to be a sleeper so i'll you know i hold my hands up that's a bit of a sleeper for now not the best play but still, I only picked up one or two of these, so that actually wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. Again, another decent one in the Speed Champions line. Well, who'd have thought it? You know, I always go on about Speed Champions being good. Uh, now, not all Speed Champions have done that well. There are a couple that haven't done as well. Um, but this one did well. Uh, Lego 75874. Well, sorry, no, this one didn't do extremely well actually i got it at a good enough discount so that then it's kind of done well for me actually yeah if i actually talk about this a little bit this one retailed i believe about 24.99 or 29.99 so actually it's only gone up by about 10 pound in the last eight months but because i got it at about a 45 percent discount or something i've actually already done really well on this so a Lego set doesn't actually need to appreciate in value by that much if you get it at an, an, an amazing, insane discount. So, this is a great example because I got these sets at £16.66. I share them on a haul video with you uh, a while back. And uh, you can see there, I could clear these at, obviously, um, for, for profit right now. And for an okay profit, really, not a bad return on investment. So, although it's not done amazing, it's still done okay for me. And I think... You know, we're still at the 8-month mark. I think by the time we get to 18 months of this set being retired, I think we could see this close to 50 quid, about that £50 mark, maybe even just over. So I'm quite happy with that. Nice little set there. And I've done okay with that just because of my foresight of buying at a good discount. So anyway, Lego Brickhead, something that hasn't done anywhere near as well as I thought it would do. I thought this would be a £20, £25 it's been a bit of a sleep of this one, uh, £13.84, I got these between £7 and £10 each, and I got, I don't know, 6 or 7 of these, so not the best, however, again, we're not quite at that level, uh, you know, in terms of time elapsed that I would uh, want to be selling these anyway, so I'm just hoping that within the next year, and maybe come Christmas we see a bit of a spike as well, maybe we can get these up to 20 quid 
20 quid each they're not in production anymore anyway as far as i'm aware so they should go up slowly um so we'll see in the next year maybe sell them christmas of 2019 maybe get 20 25 pound a pop and recoup some of my losses on them and obviously get get well get a little bit of profit but uh not much there so yeah um it, it was okay it, i think they're okay but the brickheads overall I've pretty much done pretty terrible on the Brickheads, if I'm honest. Uh, they've not done very well. They've not grown in the way that I thought they would. However, I did mention in one of the haul videos that the Brickheads are very, very speculative because these were the first wave of Brickheads. No, there was no data to predict how these would do. So it, were, it was very speculative for me to invest in these. Uh, and we'll have to see what we do in the longer term. There is one Brickhead out of the wave that did kind of save me though. And that's done really, really well. Now, um, obviously, um, I, I think I did pick up about four or five of those. And that might help me at Christmas. I'll recuperate a bit of money out of them. And then, obviously, that gives me a bit of profit overall. Um, but, yeah, so there is one that did well. I'll show you in a second. So, next is another Speed Champion set. Another one that's done okay. Not as well as the other one. I think it was the Ford Mustang or something, was it? I don't know. I don't know what the other one was, actually. Um, but this is 75878. Again, I bought these at retail at £12.99. Uh, and as you can see, Merchant Fulfilled are coming in at £24.11. So, really, you know, it's a comfortable... 30 at this moment using FBA, maybe a little bit more, but obviously at Christmas time you could get to 35 40 quid on these sets, so I'm happy with that. I believe I've got five to ten of these as well, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with them considering that you know, again, it's only been eight or nine months, it's not anywhere near that 18 month to two year mark that, I'm, that I'll be really looking to, to liquidate some things and, and really actually sell some stuff. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with them. I'm, I'm, yeah, they've done pretty decent. Uh, something that I really wasn't sure of, but I got a really good discount, was this LEGO Architecture set. To me, looking at that price, I don't think that price has moved much from retail. I believe it was uh, 34.99 retail or 29.99 retail, one of the two. So I don't think these architecture sets do that well as an investment. I did actually say in the whole video that I was only buying these to actually track them to see what they do as an investment because the best way I learn is by doing and by buying things and seeing and actually getting my getting myself into the uh, sort of investment and seeing what it does, um, you know, sort of on the job kind of thing um, by actually investing in the stuff. So I wanted to do that. I did actually get these for a really good discount though. So I've not actually done so bad on these uh, in terms of, you know, the time that we're at. I got these for £17.50. So obviously it's not the best return as of yet. However, if we get to that one to two year mark, I, and certainly with it being summer as well, toys aren't as good. These prices aren't necessarily the, the best prices you can attain during the year. I think that I could get some decent money back for these, and I think I'll be selling these, with, you know, in a year's time or so. I think I'll hold off on selling these for a while. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It's not done too bad since I got them at an amazing discount. So again, it just shows buying at a great discount really, really does help your chances of getting a good profit on these things. Uh, something else that really I haven't done well on, however, I admitted to mis uh, this being a mistake in the actual haul video, um, I basically bought them and they were on, they were actually on Amazon for about 25 quid each. And I bought them uh, for 10 pounds, was it? Ten, yeah, 10 pounds 39. So I bought them for 10 pounds 39 a unit, thinking I could flip these for a profit now if I wanted to. So I'm thinking, you know. It, it's a decent amount of money. It's going to be a decent investment. However, I had, I had previous to that, I, I, I looked at this set quite a lot and I didn't want to invest in it because I saw the price was very up and down and it, it wasn't, it just wasn't the best. I saw there was quite a lot of supply as well. So I didn't invest in it back then. But then I, in January, I decided to invest in it. And uh, as soon as I bought it and I received it, obviously the price went down. Amazon came in stock back in January at 9.99, so like under the price that I paid. I would have been better buying it off Amazon at 9.99. Um, but at, since then, over the last six months, as I say, this was bought in January, so it's not even been 
you know, eight or nine months I've had this set to invest in. So it's hardly any time has gone by. Maybe it'll go up to 25 quid or something and then I can clear them uh, at Christmas time, something like that. But um, yes, you know, it's gone up to 17 quid, so it's not too bad. But again, this maybe would have been, uh, my money would have been better spent in something else. Um, so yeah, not the best one, that one. And then finally is the Brickhead that did do really well. Um, this was Lego Brickhead Captain America 41589. Now, this was the only Brickhead that did something really well. The Bell, you know, Beauty and the Beast, the Bell Brickhead did um, £17, I think that's at, at the moment. And I bought that between £7 and £10. I got a few at discount at 7 quid and a few at £10. So, yeah, that's done okay, considering we're only eight months down the line, but not as good as this. The Captain Jack Brickhead did £16, £17 pound at the moment, and maybe a little bit more. Um, but yeah, still, you know, the Brickheads haven't done well for me. The, the, the Hulk one, which I thought would do pretty well, that's only at 14 quid. They've not done very well, so I'll hold my hands up, and that was... That was not a great decision by myself. But this one, I loaded up on this one. I got about four or five of this one, and you'll see in the whole video. And you can see there, um, Amazon, you know, Merchant Fulfilled, 28 quid. Now, I haven't checked the wank on this one, so this might be a complete disaster. If this is like 200,000 in toys and games right now when we check the wank, that could be a bit of a disaster. Um, and obviously, I might not be able to achieve 28 quid, but... We'll see, we'll just, uh, it might take a minute to load, because as I say, I've got so many tabs open. Um, but let me go down, and let's check the rank. Fingers crossed. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. 281,000 in toys and games. So, it looks like people are just charging over the odds. So, that might not be as good as I thought. Maybe it might be another fail. It might be, you know, that 15 to 18 pound mark, uh, rather than the 28 quid. I think it's just that maybe people are charging too much. And uh, maybe that's, you know, led the rank to fall a little bit more. I'm just speculating on that. I will have a check on eBay just to see. Uh, and may what I might do is just put a screenshot in the corner on eBay just to see how this does on there. And, and we might be able to get a bit more of the true price. Um, but yeah, but okay, maybe that one wasn't as good as I thought. So it means that basically all the Brickheads weren't the best investment. But that's what you have to do. If you're, if you're investing in a Lego theme that is very kind of new and there's no past history on it. Like, for example, with um, the Speed... Ch well, not necessarily with the Speed Champions, but with certain themes, you have more like... Um, for example, if I go back... Where was it? Which one was it? Was it this one here? Yeah, this one. So... With um, the, what's this, Guardians of the Galaxy, the first wave of Guardians of the Galaxy did okay. So I thought to myself, well, this one has a bit more of a chance to do okay. Again, with like the Lego Star Wars Battle Packs, we've got a lot of past history to show us whether they're going to do well or not. But the Brickheads, we didn't have any clue. No, no investor had any clue of what they would do in the secondary market. You can you can look at a few different things, and I'll always look at a few different tools that will help me predict. But really, no one knows, if, you, if I'm just being honest. So, um, yeah, they've not done that well in the last eight months. However, I'm going to keep hold of them. I'm going to see what we do at Christmas, because bear in mind, these prices are, are the bottom prices at summer. The ranks aren't going to be completely true to what they'd be at Christmas. So, we'll have to see at Christmas what things do. We'll have to see next year, you know, throughout next year into Christmas of 2019. And I'll clear them at the sort of two-year mark. So, all isn't lost with the Brickheads. But, you know, after eight months or so, I've not moved quite enough into where I would be happy that there have been a good investment. Maybe the Bell and maybe the Captain Jack have moved a little bit more and they're okay. But the other ones, not so much. So, yeah. But I'm glad that I was right on a few of the Speed Champion sets. A few of them did really well. There was a couple that didn't do well. There was the Corvette that hasn't moved much, unfortunately. Um, but, again, it's only been about eight months. So, we'll see on that one. And there was another one that didn't do that well either. But, again, we're not at that sort of two-year mark. So, anyway, I'll round it off there, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video of looking through some of the sets, some of the failures, some of the successes that I've made in my... My Lego investing so far. As I say, I'm not going to be selling any of these yet. Um, so I'm obviously 
waiting for price to come up a little bit more, wait for a bit more time to elapse, and we'll see where things are. So, anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a like. If you'd like to subscribe, then please do feel free. And if you'd like any more LEGO investing videos, I am thinking of doing more in the future. When I first did them, they got an overwhelming positive response, and I was so happy that people enjoyed them because... I really did, and I still do enjoy uh, investing in Lego and things like that. So, yeah, anyway, I'll leave it there, guys, and I will see you in the next one.